Welcome back everybody. We have an unboxing for Dull Masters today. Like I said in my last arena episode, I'm hoping to pull a Traxa, Doubling Season, a few others. I'll, I'll let you know when I get them or you might put them at the beginning of the episode or as I'm talking right now, I might just splash a picture of them up on the screen. But, let's get going. This is a big box. As I'm just throwing everything. Got the box topper. I'm going to open that last. Let's get the rest of these packs out. Again, don't need that box. Just have to toss it behind me. This is weird because I have my mouse pad underneath this, so it's like a raised section, so it just feels weird, but I'm going to move these off to the side, make a little pyramid, and let's get cracking. Ooh, do they have the... Yes! Love it when they have these. Again, I think it's last time, I just toss them. And yes, I will be picking these up as I talk. So we got a skin brain, goblin, crushing vines, divest. Everflowing Chalice, Mirror Retriever, Volcadin Influencer, Peace Strider, Strength of Arms, Springleaf Dream, Gore Clan Rampager, Skull Mulcher, and this is where I'm excited about the uh, Double Masters because it has a double slot for the rare, so we got a Heat Shimmer on this one, and a Conjurer's Closet. Don't know if that was too far away or not when I was reading it. And then it has two foil slots also. So the Bone Picker and the Full shock gauntlets and a servo. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the rares in one pile, commons and uncommons in the other, and eventually I'll probably just start skipping through a bunch of these um, commons and just kind of briefly show them because I know it will take a while if I just keep doing it. Uh, we got an ooze. So, so we got the conclave naturalists, supernatural stamina, Tamir battle rage. Eager Construct. Ooh, a Gleaming Barrier. Kind of excited about that. A uh, Parasitic Sturrix. An Urza's Tower. Sanctum Spirit. Hinder. Hidden Stockpile. Path to Exile. Now we're into the rares. High Market. Ooh, an Ion Storm. You know? That might work for one of my decks. Probably my Planeswalker deck, actually. Uh, let's go with uh, Manamorph. Manamorphous, sorry. Uh, that's actually, I really like that foil right there. And the Morcut Banshee. Another really cool card, actually. Let's look at that again. Kind of like how they did that art. But let's get going on to another one. Bone Picker, Lightning Axe, oh, kind of showing a card there. Glaze Fiend, Crushing Vines, Gleaming Barrier, Parasitic Strix, Urza's Tower, Glean, ooh, Darksteel Citadel. Love that just because it is indestructible. So that's going to be nice for another commander deck I'm building. Uh, let's go. Ooh, Mystic Gate. I do absolutely love these lands. I think they're. I forget the name of the lands, but I do like the uh, tap, pay one to tap it to add two then. I do have a lot of those in my decks. Ooh. Some of my favorite colors right there with Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. That's nice. Rapacious Dragon and a Blood Briar. So let's see what else we can get. And a Sapperling. Might of the Masses, Driver of the Dead, Orcish Vandal. Ooh. That's going to be helpful for my modern elf deck. Sanctum Spirit, Ariok Salvagers, Splicer. My first Mythic, a Land Tax. 
Ooh, a Merciless Eviction. Crusader of Ordic and a Shiny Urza's Tower. That's nice. I wish I would have gotten something other than that Ordic for a foil, but you know. I think I have an idea for a deck for that one soon. And a Soldier. Twisted Abomination, Conclave Naturalist, Salivating Gremlins. Oh, it's a Gremlin, not a Goblin. I wish it was a Goblin. Urza's Mine. I think I just need one more Urza land card and then I'll have all the Urza lands. Metal Spinner Puzzle Knot, Crib Swap, Invigorate, Dead Return, Top of the Stone, and Isochron Scepter. Actually, I've never seen that card before. Because I know a lot of these are cards from before I started even playing. And then Council's Judgment, oh, put in the wrong pile. Now we got a Weapon Surge, and do we get a rare? No. I was hoping for a rare in that foil slot too. Really what I'd love to also see is a double mythic in the rare slot. Let's see, a Thopter. Ooh, I kind of like that Thopter. Supernatural Stamina, Cast Down, Cathartic Reunion, Fierce Empath, Flyer Husk, and there's all the Urza lands. With a Frogify. A Pongify. And we get a Sunforger. And a Master Transmutator. Marasha's Bobble. Ooh. That just looks amazing with that foil. So we have two more packs till we're a third of the way there. And still not pulling the ones I want, but you know, I still have packs to go, and this has a chance of getting me what I want. Let's just get through a few of these quickly. And if I see one that I want to, that I like, I'll let you know. Nothing really there, but oh, nice. A middling mage. Not sure if I'm going to ever play that because of the blue. Same with that transmitter. So I'm probably just going to go sell those to my. LGS. Ooh, Vengevine. My second mythic. Might. Might put that in my Hydra deck just so he can return Hydras if people kill him. We got a Brainstorm and a Might of the Masses. Alright. Let's see what we can get. A clue token. The Heartless Pillage, a Braid, Supernatural Stamina. Sorry, I'm reading this card. Oh, don't really play much of the Colorless, so I'm not sure if I'd use that that much, but I might have a deck or two that uh, can use it. And Disciple of Bolas. Ooh, Maze of Ith. That's pretty nice. We got a giant sleeve artisan and a sickle slicer. Wait, is that a snake with a blade? Yes, it is. So yeah, now we're one third of the way there. Another thopter. Ooh, goblin shaman. I think I already have this in my commander goblin deck. I'll have to check and see. Executioner's Capsule. Um, that's pretty nice for that Fabricate. There's the Expedition map. Man, that's like my second or third Frogify. I actually think it's my third today because I did open a VIP pack and I'll show you guys what the good cards I got in that earlier. Mirage's Bubble. And there we go. Rage Reflection. Ooh. This is one I was looking forward to having. I completely forgot about this, but I'm definitely going to be using this in kind of like my Dragon or my Angels, Demons, and Dragons deck for Commander. That's definitely going to be helpful. Oh, wrong pile again. And then the Master of Ethereum. Again, I don't really play blue that much, so I'm not sure if I'm ever going to play that card. That's a nice glaze fiend. And a core trapper. Or core tapper, sorry. 
but let's get going. Another servo, getting a lot of servos I'm seeing. Driver of the Dead, Clear Shot, Weapon Surge, Heartless Pillage, Steel Sabotage, Another Steed, Ooh, Ancestral Blade, Manamorphous, oh uh, that's, I do like that painted, or Pentad Prism, and Ash Barons, Ooh, Masterwork of ingen Ingenuity, copy of, oh any equipment, oh and an Academy Ruins, Again, I mean, it's a nice card. I'm not sure when I'm going to be playing blue. But that's a good one to, just to have. And looks like we got two of this guy. I think I already pulled one earlier, but... Yeah, let's keep going. I do like that he adds mana when he dies, but... uh kind of wish it wasn't colorless. There is a beast token. Bone Picker, Salivating Gremlins, Whisper of the Wilds, Revoke Existence, <laughs> Iron Bully, there's the Overflowing Chalice. What else do we have? And judging by my count, that perfect. Giant Shaman. Discard a card at random. If you discard a creature card this way, well, that's pretty nice. And then a Sondering Titan. Let's see. Yes! Probably the one common I wanted to pull. At least for a foil. The Chatter of the Squirrel. Really love to build a squirrel deck. I know online there was this um, application that I played with my friends that let us play with any cards, and I built a Chatter the Squirrel doubling season deck and just every turn I'm just generating squirrels and overran but I'd like to try and build that again so we got a weapon surge, a sylvan might, a dark steel axe tumor battle rage, another sickle slicer Swift fortify, bloodshot trainee and a salvage titan and an endless atlas it looks like I'm getting a lot and a lot of artifacts in this. So that's interesting. A de Dread Return and a Steel Sabotage. But yeah, it definitely looks like I'm getting a lot of ar the artifacts I got printed. I didn't even realize that was a shapeshifter. Just kind of put that down and just didn't even look at it. Another servo. Let's go see what we can get now. Just a regular chatter of the squirrel. Ooh, I like the artwork of that one. How that cat just comes flying in. Ah, and we got a Cascade Bluff, so we at least have two of the lands like that. I think they're actually filter lands is what they're called. Now that I'm remembering. Oh, Noble Hierarch. Taps are blue, but you know what? It'll work in my commander decks because I have a bunch of like, I have like three five color commander decks, so. Ooh, Death Shadow. And a foil expedition map. So let's see. We're about probably halfway, a little more than halfway done. I still haven't pulled any of the ones that I'm looking for, so. Oh, I like that elemental too. But let's get going and see what we can get. Almost have a place out of the squirrel. Thought reflection. This is one of the cards I pulled in the VIP pack. It was just a foil of this version. So I wish I would have gotten something better than that, but you know what? The rest of the cards I pulled were pretty good. And there is my third mythic. The Geist of St. Taft. Uh, probably actually gonna play him just because whenever he attacks he creates a 4-4 white angel token with flying. The only part I hate is that it is exiled at the end of combat. But we got a Sanctum Gargoyle and a Murder Retriever. Like I said, again, a lot of artifacts. Which I don't really play much artifacts. So. Ooh, Eldrazi Spawn. Ah, 
little bit sharper action. I need to get him in my um, modern elf deck. Really need to get him in because he's going to tap for a lot of mana and that's going to help. So we've got Thespian Stage, a Doomed Necromancer, Kazool Toy Collector, Ooh, and a Driver of the Dead, and I just put that in the wrong pile. But, yeah, it looks like I have one more stack after this. And let's see, a Weapon Surge, Heartless Pillage, Clear Shot. There's my playset of the Squirrel. Is that Angel of the Dawn? Ooh. Definitely going in my Angel Commander deck. But I do know this set, I was really excited just to get more cards for Commander. Which I've been recently playing a lot more than any other, so... I might, I'm excited. Ooh, an Exploration. And a Giora. I think that's how you pronounce it. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, draw a card. Uh, I do like that, but that's probably going to be one I'm going to get rid of. Maybe not right off the bat, but um, not too long into the future. going to see if her price goes up. Because I do know after a while some of these prices are going to tank as more people open these, but it's almost guaranteed that a lot of these are going to go back up in price. Ooh, I do not think I have that goblin in my goblin deck, so that's going to be perfect. Chromatic Star. Thopter Foundry. There's only two more I'm missing, before, and I can get a playset of all the fetch. Or not a playset, but I can get one of each of the filter lands. Pragmatic Mimic. We got Crushing Vines and a Peace Strider. We're getting kind of low, and I'm getting a little worried, hoping I get one of the cards I want. So, ooh, I like that Elf Warrior, too. Uh, I'm really liking the artwork that they're doing for this. Like, I know some of it is the old artwork, but it does look like some of it they're doing as new artwork. But, another Angel of Dawn, that's nice. There is the Thoughtseize. I got the... VIP edition of this, like I said, I'll show it to you later of what I got there. Um, the Grim Lava Mancer, a hidden stockpile, and an enlarge. But like I said, I'm really hoping for Atraxa doubling season, and I know the Jace would be amazing, a Force of Will would be amazing, even another Kalia. I have one Kalia, but I'd like to kind of build another one, or get another one so I can use her in a different deck. Brainstorm, another Ursus Power Plant, Sword of the Meek, Basilisk Collar, and kind of like that quarter monitor a bit. With the artwork, but let's see. Defiant Salvager, Orcish Vandal. Oh, hey, the one that's been. Reprinted a lot. Seems like I see that card a lot of times. Another Dark Steel Citadel, that's gonna be nice. Got a Blasphemous Act. And the Goto Bandit Warlord. He'd be nice for a full equipment deck. So maybe I should do a artifact deck. Especially after what I'm getting here, I just noticed that my uh I was kind of up over there. So I am sorry about that. But we're getting lower on our cards. A mirror. Sylvan Knight. So I'm really hoping I pull one of those soon. Magnus of the Abyss. Let's get a good look at that one. And then Ohana Ship Navigator. And no rare foil. Down to the last three cards. Really hoping I get what I want. At least just one of what I want. 
Like Goblin Graveler, Driver of the Dead, Six Guild Pack, Vampire Hex Mage, Dismantle. I think I need one more. And then I'll get one of each of those. And there is a card that I would that I love to see. I would have loved to see its VIP version, which I think as of this time recording it, it's $171 is the VIP edition. This one I think is up to like 80, so really excited that I just saw that. Um, so we got a strength of arms and an accomplished automation. So a little excited right there because that mana crypt right there near the end. Let's see, a demon, troll collector, whisper of the wilds again, a skin wing, and let's see, path to exile, there it is, that's one of the ones I wanted, oh, finally, I get another Kalia of the Vast, I have one deck that's built around here for commander, and it's the one I got in the Commander Anthology. I'm going to try and rebuild a new one around her. So I was really, really hoping to pull her. I'm so excited for that card. A Walking Ballista, Orcish Vandal, and a Costly Plunder. Alright, will this last pack be lucky and get me another card I want? Let's push that in. Same thing with Gargoyle, Ancient Springs, Defiant, Salvager. Another brainstorm. One shell. Okay. Legion of the Tangled. Ah, uh, not the one I was wanting, but you know what? For green black, that's actually a pretty good one. So, what is our two myth or two uh, foils? Ooh, dark foil, dark steel citadel. That's gonna be nice. And a chromatic star. Well, we didn't get. We got so far one that I was hoping for, one that I wasn't expecting. And now let's see what's in this. It is only two cards, and I'm going to leave it kind of for the suspense. Oh my god. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm in shock right now was not expecting to pull a Jace. That was the one card I was not expecting to pull. And what's the other one? Ooh, I like that Meddling Mage, but still just was not expecting that Jace Mind Sculptor. That is amazing. So, I know I'm kind of far away from the camera, but I wanted to show you the cards that I ended up pulling I'll just show you the rares from the pack earlier. Because I did end up buying a VIP pack. But there's that Thought Reflection that I got earlier from my VIP pack. There's the Thought Seize, which this is about a $45 card foil. A Blood Moon, it's around another $40 at the time of me recording this. And a Cyclonic Rift. That's a pretty good foil, but that Jace the Mind Sculptor, um, just a minute, Lady Inner is kind of showing it to me. This is a VIP card. It's the board, when you search it, search borderless. She's getting me the price for this right now because I really want to know what that price is because that is amazing. I think she showed me just the regular one from, it's, the regular one from this set is like 50 bucks right now. This thing has had a chance of being up at like 300 some odd dollars, so she's definitely giving me a price check for that. And I'm not sure where she's at with that. She just gave me a thumbs down. Internet. Oh, our internet went down. Or it took a crap. I don't know. Either or, but while well, she's looking that up, and I will get a price here soon for that. Let's kind of look over what our rares were and the ones I was pretty excited to see when I saw them. So, I do like that sword in the mink a bit. 
We get another thought sieves. I like that. Definitely love that I got a good amount of these filter lands. I think it's, it's three of them right there. Let me double check and make sure, because I know I got at least one more. I almost got one of each of them, I think. There's an Academy of Ruin. She's about to show it to me while I'm looking for this. There's the Mystic Gate. Oh, so we're missing one of them. Oh. It's a little lower than I was expecting right now, but that's about $93.99 right now. Oh, that's saying, is that yeah. $115 for Oh, so it's saying market price is about $115 for this one. It's a little bit higher for the foil, but hey, $115 card I got, that, I will take that. I know these are actually kind of up there in price. I do know for sure that Mana Crypt has a pretty good market value right now. I think I looked it up earlier and it's, if I remember right, it was about 80 bucks for just the regular version, not the VIP. The VIP is 171, but uh, I'm excited for that Call of the Vast. So that is it for this deck, actually this booster box. Like I said, definitely excited for this Call I wish I would have gotten the Atraxa, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go find another way to pay for that card maybe sell this one later on i do know i'm gonna wait on these two because for them being the foil vip their price is going to go up eventually so it might take a little bit like it might take a year or two but they'll definitely be worth something a bit later on especially since they printed it with that special art but all in all i didn't thoroughly impressed I think I'm gonna try and calculate all this up and just see what the value of this box was I know I paid 300 for it and I'm pretty sure with this being a $115 card that's one third of the box right there so like I said all in all I'm pretty excited about what I pulled it was pretty fun and amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time